Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo. <coughs> <coughs> wow, I just choked on air. It's fine. But it's your boy Kimbo here. I'm leaving that in. And it's time for an epic Bakugan unboxing. Jeepers, my chest. Ugh. Good gravy. Okay. Uh, but we got this unboxing here. Got this package, of course. Uh, so, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, wait, is there stuff written on the bottom? Is it? There is. What? Okay, let's see. Um, Something is also. Okay, I think I got to read this first. Uh. Yeah, what does it say? Oh, uh, yeah, Kim, it was a last-minute ad. Look. Uh, okay, okay. Look, what am I looking at? Something is also here under the flap inside. Oh, okay, so there's something up here. But, yeah, so we got this box right here. I'm going to be careful opening it, of course, because stuff being in it. Yeah. If I can, like, get it. I'm trying to be delicate. <laughs> delicate. Gentle. Gentle. Okay. Got that. And then. Hey. Under the flap. Under the. What is that? Okay. Open this. It's the flap. Okay. What was that? It's a. <gasps> oh, it's a Arliss. Wait. Is this a sticker? Or is it? Is it a sticker? Is it an is it an iron on? I don't know. It's either a sticker or an iron on. That's for sure. Um let me just see. Oh! Oh, it's a freaking It's like a yo, it's like a decal sticker. I could put this on my laptop. Ooh. Well, I got one on my laptop. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll find somewhere to put it. <laughs> you know? Um yeah, I'll put it on my uh on my Switch case for my Nintendo Switch. Uh, yeah. Also, anybody who wants to add me on the Switch, I'll just say this right now. My friend Toad, I mean, if you write it down, you know, you can add me, but it's 1449-7877-7769. Treyway. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's, that, that's the actual code. So if anybody wants to add me on there, feel free to. But yeah, so I'm probably going to put this on my Switch case for sure. Because that's definitely a sticker. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, man. Definitely appreciate uh, the Arliss sticker. Because, you know, the boy's an RLS brawler. But now it's time to open this up. Because, obviously, the main event. People are like, Kimbo, just get on with it already. Okay, listen. got to go over everything in the package. It's important. I don't skip over stuff. But yeah. Oh, bro. Bro. What? <laughs> what? Boy. It's it's here. All right. So, so. <laughs> Yo, oh, hype. So hype. We got this. Diamond Nilius. Diamond Cornelius for Armored Alliance. Big time hype, dude. So, yeah. Did a trade with M Stubbs. This is obviously from M Stubbs 88, the boy. So, yeah. Um, you know, and he included like an extra Evo, which thanks so much, man. But yeah, M Stubbs 88. If you haven't subbed to him, Alrighty, definitely go and do so. Show him some support. That's my dude. That is my dude. Uh, so, yeah, definitely go and show him some love. Uh, big time passionate and into the game and such. I mean, you guys already know. You know, he was at the Invitational and such. Um, but really, really awesome. And you signed it too? Dude, I don't even want to use this. I honestly want to just like, keep this in here and hang it up, you know, <laughs> for sure. Especially, like, going to be moving. Uh, definitely going to find a special place to, like, hang it up and such. Uh, but, yeah, this looks... Dude, it looks so sick. The power is 600 damage with 12, so definite damage uh, with it for the build, you know. So, yeah, hoping they put out more damage cards. That's for sure. But now, time to get into the Nilius. Um, main way of finding this, anybody who doesn't know, uh, they had, I don't know if they still have it, but they at least had, like, um, these cases, like Easter cases. And it was mainly at Walmart. Um, and they just had a bunch of, like, the Wave 2 cores put in it not sure why they set it up that way but that's the way they distributed it and i mean my local store i guess has some like the wave 2 stuff and they put them on the regular shelves so you never know if you see like some of the wave 2 stuff for armored alliance and you see the cores just check you never know if there's one hiding there but he happened to have like an extra one and you know what did a little bit of a trade so i like you know i i did a trade not often where i like do big time trades it, it was a tough one for me honestly because i uh I pulled the Maximus Nilius card, like, you know, obviously, like, the Elite for the Maximus Nilius for uh, Armored Elite, and 
I only had one, but he's like, yo, I need that card so bad, dude. I will trade you the Nilius. I'm like, if it was the Nilius, I'd be like, ah. But, yeah, because, um, you know, I only pulled one. And, obviously, the rapid fire effect with it. I want to have three of it, and it would just drive me nuts. It would take a minute. So, I'm like, you know what? I'll do the trade. And, you know, got this Nilius out of it. So, definitely glad about that. And just caught up with diamonds, dude. Caught up with diamonds. Oh! I didn't think I was actually going to be able to get this thing, man. It looks so great. It's honestly one of my favorite core diamonds of this series for sure uh yeah at least definitely for sure from armored alliance just looks so sick man i love the cornelius in the season but yeah so here's the back these are the background that are in the way of anybody who's wondering Chaos Drago, pyrus cycloid Chaos hollow core darkest trox ventus nilius aqua centipod uh arliss auxilitar so those are the other background this way so if you see any of those background you never know you might see uh nilius with them because they are all in the same wave so yeah, and whoever's found this, y'all are lucky, for sure. Um, but yeah, just so glad I managed to get it. Um, and yeah, man, and thanks so much for trading at M-Stubs. Anyways, time to open it up. I know people are like, Kimbo, you take it forever to open it up. It's, it's like I said, gotta explain stuff. I go into depth when opening stuff, because it's important. It's very important. All right. So I want you guys to know, like, everything with it. So here we go. You can see uh, the... Yeah, if I can get it off there. Wow, there's a lot of tape attached to this one. That's for sure. Oh, if I can get that open. I'm always just afraid because, you know, I obviously don't want to bend the card or anything. Um, there we go. But, yeah, we see the uh, Gate Trainer card. Obviously helping with the training, uh, you know, helping with your rolls and such. But you got the Diamond Trox and Diamond Drago. This is probably be the one that they just use for the whole season. But it still looks really, really sick, man. So, obviously, practice your rolls with that. And then we got the card here. I'll look at it because I obviously reviewed the Cornelius before. Uh, but it has a shield and it has a flame fist. So, B power 400, damage of 5. Um, so, it can get up to like 800 right away, max. Uh, like 805, which you know. Not the craziest, but still. Um, you know, this Nilius looks really, really cool, man. See the red head, see the green head, all that good stuff. But yeah, I definitely want to see like some more uh, cards. You know, obviously, like if you land on a flame fist or such, or you know, just with all the different factions, you know what I mean? Like, whether it's like a uh, shield or a flame fist or et cetera, et cetera. But also seeing those cards, you know, that make it where like if you land on a flame fist, a card's more effective or something like that. Like, you know, how they have holy flame and it did so with like regular fists and made chaos really, really strong because you can get like 600 right away with a fist deck with a holy flame. Uh, you know, doing those kinds of cards for shields because they had some for shields, but just not many. Like more for shields, more for uh, flame fist. I don't think they really made any for flame fist. Uh, even the same thing for like magic shields and such. Incorporating those kind of cards into it too would make it that much more diverse, and that's something I really, really want to see. But yeah, now time to get into the main event of this pack. That being this bad boy right here. Look at this. Nilius! Diamond freaking Cornelius. The claws are purple. The bottom part right there is black with the green for the chest plate. The jaws are black. You got the orange eye right there for this head. And then you got the green eye for this head. And then you got the little bit of purple on the top. All the clear with it, man. Just looks so great. Look at the legs. Got a little bit of gold right there for the arrow. Um, and then obviously the manual legs, you know. See those little uh, stubby reptar legs. Um, and then you got the back part right here for the tail, the purple and the black, and just all the clear, dude. And then the black in the grooves right there. And then, of course, the darkest symbol with the gold. But yeah, man, it just looks so sick. So legs in, wings in, well, heads down, uh, wings in, and then tail. And there it is, dude. Look how sick it looks as a diamond, man. This thing looks absolutely perfect. Definitely could have, like, seen a little bit more purple on it. That would have been really cool. But, I mean, the fact that it's a diamond, it just still looks absolutely amazing, dude. Looks so, so freaking good. But, yeah, man. And, of course, I just, like, had butterfingers and dropped it. It's okay. I'm sorry, Nilius. I'm sorry. Everybody's raging at me now. Don't worry. I love it. Because I had butterfingers. I got too hyped. <laughs> but look at it, man. It's so, so cool. <laughs> like, oh, man, my voice just, like, squeaked. Wow. I, I hope I never do that again. <laughs> but, yeah, man, it just looks so awesome. Diamond Cornelius. I'm just so glad I managed to get my hands on this, dude. But, yeah.
All right, last but not least, we got that opening action for Dilius. Set this off to the side real quick. Put this card up there just in case. And I'm trying to do a spin roll from the side. See if I can be a boss and get it first try. Three, two, one, knock on brawl. Oh, oh, almost. Too much mustard. Too much mustard. A little more catch up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> got it, man. That was sick. All right. So, yeah, overall, like magnet wise. Doesn't have the absolute strongest magnet, so it'll only pick up one unless you, like, get some crazy roll and one gets stuck underneath and then you get two somehow in some way, you know. But, yeah, that'll mainly be in a brawl where you can't, like, readjust the cores or anything. But, yeah. But anyways, guys, uh, that is everything for this epic, epic review on this absolutely amazing Bakugan Armored Alliance Diamond Core Nilius. Once again, my boy M Stubbs, thanks so much, man, for the trade and such. I hope you enjoy the uh, the Maximus Nilius card. You know, I know you'll put it to good use. He needed one more, and I'm like, you know what? I got you. I'll help you out with it. It was a really tough decision. Like I said, that's a really awesome Evo card. But yeah, you know, just hoping to get some more Armored Elite at some point in the future and be able to get that Evo because it's really, really cool. But yeah, and also could use it uh, for this. So. Yeah, at least has the rapid fire with it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, like I said, go and support M Stubbs. You know, his channel's uh, Bakumaster M Stubbs 88. Uh, definitely go and show him some love for sure, you know, because he puts out awesome, awesome content just over all absolutely amazing dude so yeah anyways till next time guys it's your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks for watching until then stay awesome and bakugan brawl i'm up out of here